So this is part two uh, to the tragic interview story that I was sharing about the six-hour Zoom interview with six people and the first interview, like three minutes in, someone starts a freaking trombone solo in the background that scares me so bad. I go airborne and land on the floor. And you know how hard it is to get a five foot 11 body up from hardwood? Freaking impossible, okay? Oh my God, it was like a calf trying to walk for the first time. And then to the, the adrenaline, to like come back from that, to compose yourself, to have an interview with someone that you're then watching Uh, basically uh, cuss somebody out in the background. So he comes back, the interviewer comes back from that and uh, from handling that. And he sits down, he's very apologetic and we continue the interview. Uh, I'm trying to breathe and (laughs) trying to get my heart rate down from 150. uh, And, um, you know, just (laughs) breathing in, breathing out. Uh, When all of a sudden, Oh yeah, this interview is not done. And this again, this is just the first interview of the six. <clears throat> when all of a sudden, a another a a child uh, comes into the room and starts jumping on the furniture in the background, and then proceeds to climb on the back of the interviewer while he's talking. He's using the interviewer as a jungle gym, as a playground, not exaggerating, no cap, is literally climbing on the shoulders to where the interviewer's like this, still trying to conduct the interview. Uh, And it is so obviously freaking next level distracting. (laughs) I don't even know what you're saying, dude. You're talking into the desk now, right? Because you're being attacked by like a 10 year old. So not a young child. And um, I say, hey, like we can resume later. Hey, do you want to take a break? Right. Because obviously something is is happening here. Can we pause time out? Right. Because you you can't listen to me. I can't listen to you. Uh, Like, hey, like, let's pause. Right. And he just proceeds to do the interview. He proceeds to do the interview, keeps talking, carries the child on his back, opens the French doors, throws him in there, and then comes back like like nothing. Like we are not forever changed by this interview. 